Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to continue talking about splitting your data into two parts or many parts in uh, this case. I'm going to talk about uh, the k-fold cross-validation. And in this method, what you do is you divide your data in many folds. So this will be our fold one. Now this will be our training set and this will be our test set. So we fit the model on uh, this training set and we test the predictions of the model on uh, this uh, test set. So this is our fold one. In the next phase, we include the first fold in the model and we exclude fold two from our training data set. So this is our test set in the second case and this will be our training set. In the third case, this will be our test set and the remaining data will be our training set. We keep on doing this until we have uh, our K fold. This will be our fold 2 and this will be our fold K. So in each of these cases, we calculate uh, mean squared error. For example, in the first case, we'll calculate mean squared error 1 from this test set. And from this test set, we'll get mean squared error 2. And from here, we'll get uh, mean squared error three i'm sorry this will be three and we keep on doing this until the kth fold at the end of it we calculate cv as the summation of all these errors that we calculated and where i is from one to k and we divide it by k to get the mean error across all these uh, folds and normally we use uh, k equals five or ten so what we do here is we divide our data either in five parts or 10 parts. We leave a part of the data. For example, if there are 100 observations in the data set and uh, we are using K equals five, we leave out first 20 observations in the data set and we fit the model by using uh, the remaining 80 observations. And we calculate the mean squared error from uh, this. In the next uh, round, we include the first 20 observations, but we leave observations from 21st to 40th observation from the data and we use the remaining uh, observations to fit the model and then we test the predictions of the model on this test set and calculate mean squared error. We keep on doing this until uh, round 5. In that case, we'll be leaving the final 20 observations, 81st to 100th observations and we use uh, observation 1 to 80 to fit our model and then test the predictions of the model on uh, the test set and calculate uh, mean squared error for the fifth fold. And finally, we calculate uh, cross validation by calculating the average error across all those uh, five folds. So obviously, uh, if we use say five or six methods, the method that will give us a minimum CV or minimum error, that method will be the best method because that method will be forecasting these out of sample values pretty accurately as compared with the other methods. So this was kind of an idea about using cross validation. Essentially, the idea here is to leave out a part of the sample and uh, use the remaining part of uh, the sample to train our data set and then test the predictions of the model on an unseen data set, which in this case is test set. And the best method will give us a minimum error. That is, uh, its forecasting error will be minimum. Hence, we'll get a small value of uh, this uh, cross validation. This was the concept of uh, cross uh, validation. So in the next video, I'll talk about cross validation for the time series data. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.